Conquer your consonants. Mastering liquid sounds in English. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our series on mastering English pronunciation. Today, we are going to focus on something that might be a bit tricky for English learners, the liquid consonants. These consonant sounds are made when the airflow is not blocked by our tongue or lips, and they can often be challenging. But don't worry, we're here to help you through it. First things first, let's understand what we mean by liquid consonants. In English, there are two liquid consonants, the L and R sounds. They are called liquid because they flow smoothly together with other sounds, just like liquid does. And because they're so flowy, they can sometimes be tough to get right. But don't worry, we've got some great strategies to help you master them. Now let's start with the L sound. This sound is made by placing your tongue against the upper part of your mouth. The sound comes out as you release your tongue, allowing air to flow over the sides. Key tip. Make sure your tongue is touching the upper part of your mouth, behind your front teeth, not your teeth directly. Now, it's time to practice. Here are some words to get you started. Light, love, lazy. Next up, we have the R sound. This one can be a little trickier. For this sound, your tongue shouldn't touch the top of your mouth at all. Instead, the sides of your tongue should slightly touch your upper molars, while the tip of your tongue points towards the back of your mouth. The sound is produced as air flows over the top of your tongue. Ready to give it a try? Here are some words to practice with. Rain, right, round. We've learned how to pronounce each liquid consonant, but what happens when they're in the same word, or one right after the other? This is where liquid consonant combinations come in. Words like world, girl, or clearly are great examples of this. For these words, you have to smoothly transition from the R to the L sound. It can be tricky, but with practice, you'll get it. Try to say these words slowly at first, paying attention to how your tongue moves from one sound to the next, and then speed up as you get more comfortable. And that's a wrap on liquid consonants. Remember, the key to mastering these sounds is practice. The more you use them in your daily speech, the better you'll get at them. We hope you found this video helpful and are now more confident in your pronunciation skills. Keep practicing, and you'll be a master of liquid consonants in no time.